magandang araw sa inyong lahat. The Synod frequently insisted on the need for a prayerful approach to the sacred text as fundamental element in the spiritual life of every believer. In the various ministries and states in life, with particular reference to Lectio Divina. Ang ibig kong mangyari ay palalimin ang spirituality ng mga clergy at laity sa Diocese of Antipolo. Sabi nga ni St. Jerome, Ignorance of the Scripture is ignorance of Christ. Kaya nga, pupunta sa inyong mga parokya ang mga lady na may kasamang mga pare upang ituro unang-una sa inyong Paris Pastoral Council ang pamamaraan ng Lectio Divina, ituturo nila sa iba't ibang mga organization at ministries at sana makaabot hanggang sa periperis ng inyong parokya upang dumating ng araw lahat na tayo gagawa nito sa mapagpalang buhay para sa ating lahat. Buhay na pinagpala na galing sa kapangyarihan ng salita ng Diyos. Nilikha niya ang lahat sa pamamagitan ng kapangyarihan ng salita. At higit sa kapangyarihan ng salitang lumikha, ang salita ay naging tao at nakipanayam sa atin. Niyakap niya ang ating pagkatao. At sa pagyakap niya sa ating pagkatao, nabigyan niya tayo ng pagkakataong yakapin ang Diyos. Ang Lectio Divina sa kapangyarihan ng Banal na Spirito, hinahayaan niya tayo na ang layunin ay makita ang mga bagay-bagay sa buhay ayon sa mismong pananaw ng Diyos. Let this be our prayer. Lord, allow me to see the way you see. Allow me to know the way you know. Allow me to understand the way you understand. Allow the Word of Jesus to transform us into the very heart of the Lord. Puso ni Jesus, pag-iisip ni Jesus, pananaw ni Jesus. Ito ang nilalayon ng pagdiriwang ng Leksyon Divina. Mayroon tayong apat na pamamaraan na makatutulong sa pagdiriwang ng Leksyon Divina. Sa Leksyon Divina, ang Diyos ang magtuturo ng lahat. Leksyon. Ano ang sinasabi ng pagbasa? Basahin ng bukas ang puso. Bigyang pansin ng kapaligirang nakasaad sa kwento ang mga taong nakasangkot. Mga salitang ginamit ang daloy ng kwento. Pasukin ang kwento. Meditatio. Ano ang sinasabi ng Ebanghelyo sa atin? May mensahe bang katulad ng sa ating kwento sa buhay? Maaaring sunda ng pangyayari, nasaan tayo dito? Sino ka dito? Habang nagsasalita si Jesus, ano ang iyong naririnig? Dito papasok ang karanasan ng pagtatagpo ng puso ng tao at ng kalooban ng Diyos. Oracho, panalangin. Sa mga narinig natin sinabi ng Diyos, ano ang tugon natin sa Diyos? Inaanyayahan tayong itaas natin ang ating kalooban sa Kanya, ang tugon sa tawag ng Diyos, ang tugon sa Kanyang sinasabi, ang tugon sa Kanyang salita. Ang panalangin ito, mga kapatid, ay lalong magaganap na napakaganda sa pamamagitan ng kapangyarihan ng Espiritu ng Diyos. Contemplatio. Sa paanong paraan binago ng pagbasa ang ating pananaw sa buhay at itong pagtingin ito ang siyang mag-aakay sa atin sa kung anong konkretong pagkilos ang ating gagawin bilang pagtugon sa turo ng Diyos na hubuhubo sa atin. Lectio Divina invites us to have a deeper communion with God. I am the vine. You are the branches. Every time branches are connected to the vine, we will bear much fruit. Ang Leksyo Divina, idinudugtong tayo ng mas malalim sa puso ng Diyos. 
kung saan ang kalooban ng Diyos ang siya rin nating nagiging kalooban. Ano nga ba ang kalooban ng Diyos? Ang gumawa ng mabuti, ang magmahal, ang maglingkod, isa buhay kung ano ang kanyang niluloob. Ito ang layunin ng Leksyon Divino. I've been serving God for almost 40 years now. And if I forget my why, why I do what I do, why I serve, why I preach, why I get up in the morning, everything is gone. And the only way for me to rediscover and embrace my why is by getting into the Word, by listening to His voice through Scripture and in the depths of my heart. Go forth and serve God. Be His light in the world by allowing His light to shine every day through Lectio Divina. Today we celebrate the 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time and our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Alexander Palatpat. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery, let us pause for a moment and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. God our Creator, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. God our Savior, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. God our destiny, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May O loving God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Papuri sa Diyos sa kaitaasan.
let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, You, son of man, I have appointed watchmen for the house of Israel. When you hear me say anything, you shall warn them for me. If I tell the wicked, O oh, wicked one, you shall, you shall surely die. And you do not speak out to dissuade the wicked from his way, the wicked shall die for his guilt, but I will hold you responsible for his death. But if you warn the wicked, trying to turn him from his way, and he refuses to turn from his way, he shall die for his guilt, but you shall save yourself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let our response be, if today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, for he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. O oh, that today you would hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me. They tested me, though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, owe nothing to anyone except to love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not covet. And whatever other commandment there may be are summed up in this saying, namely, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no evil to the neighbor. Hence, love is the fulfillment of the law. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won over your brother. If he does not listen, take one or two others along with you so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. Amen. I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, amen, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything for which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. hindi makakristyanong ugali ang sasabihin wala akong pakialam sa iyo. Buhay mo yan. Bahala ka sa buhay mo. Hindi salita ni Kristo ang pagsasabing wala tayong pananagutan sa isa't isa. Malinaw ang unang pagbasa sa aklat ni Propeta Ezekiel. Anong sinasabi kapag ang iyong kapatid ay nagkasala, nagkamali, na ito'y kanyang ikamamatay at hindi mo ito itinuwid, hindi natin pinagsabihan pinagpatuloy ang kanyang pagkakamaling ginagawa, oo, mamamatay siya, subalit ikaw ang mananagot sa kanyang kamatayan. Hindi pwedeng sabihin, bahala ka, buhay mo yan, anong pakialam ko? May kinalaman tayo sa kung anuman ang nagaganap sa bawat tao, sa bawat kapatid. Pagkatapos nating pinagsabihan at hindi pa rin nakinig, siya'y ating ipagdadasal. Ito ang tema ng ating mga pagbasa ngayong araw na ito, pagtutuwid sa nagkamali. Fraternal Correction. We need to correct one another because we are not perfect. Hindi tayo sapat para sa ating sarili. May mga pagkakataon ang iniisip nating tama, siya pala ang mali. At ang mga mali, siyang tinuturing nating matuwid. May mga pagkakataong nabubulagan tayo sa anumang sayaw ng mundo. Nabubulagan tayo sa mga bagay-bagay na lalabuan kaya kailangan natin ng pagtutuwid. Nagdidilim ang ating mga paningin, kumikitid ang ating isip, nagkakaroon ng isang maling pagpapasya na kadalasan ikinapapahamak ng marami. May pananagutan tayo sa bawat isa. Walang sino man ang nabubuhay para sa sarili lamang. Tayo'y may pananagutan 
sa isa't isa. When we correct a brother or a sister, we fulfill our sacred duty of love. At ito ang paalaala sa atin. Kapag tayo'y nagtutuwid, ito'y pagtutuwid ng may pag-ibig. Pope Francis is saying, Correction without charity is a slap in the face. Isang sampal sa pagmumuka ang pagtutuwid ng walang pag-ibig. Meron nga bang matuwid na walang pag-ibig? When we correct a brother or a sister, See to it that our motivation is out of love. We have to purify our motives. For correction without charity creates a deeper wound. When we correct each other, we see to it that we love one another. Hindi sampal, kundi yakap. Hindi pagkawasak, kundi pagkabuo. We correct one another to restore what was broken. We correct one another to build up again what was destroyed. We are not here, as one of the priests would say, to build walls. We are here to build bridges. Correction can build bridges, but it is a correction out of love. When we correct a brother or a sister, we have to tell the truth. Kailanman ang kasinungalingan, hindi pwedeng magtuwid. Kailanman ang kasinungalingan, hindi pwedeng makatulong. Ang pagtutuwid sa kapatid ay pagsasabi ng totoo. Ang taong umiibig, hindi gagawa ng masama sa kanyang iniibig. Ang taong umiibig, ang iisipin, ang balakin ay laging ang mabuti. Ang taong umiibig, nagsasabi ng totoo. Hindi sinungaling ang umiibig ng totoo. When we correct a brother, when we correct a sister, we tell the truth with great love. I was talking to a brother priest and I told him, you know, I realize in my life, telling the truth is not enough. We need to learn the art of telling the truth. Tell the truth in a lighter way that's better. Otherwise, the person will kill you. Tell the truth with great love. Sometimes we fall into temptation that we, when we correct a brother, when we correct a sister, we tell the truth in a shameful way. The person remembers the shame, not the truth. Pope Francis is telling us, love in telling the truth, love in correcting a brother or a sister is like an anesthesia. A patient undergoing surgery without anesthesia will die of great pain. The anesthesia can can be a moment to tell the truth in a less painful way. 
when you correct a brother, when we tell to our sister the wrongdoings, we tell it with love. Masyado tayong maingay kapag pagkakamali ang sasabihin. I was listening to the sharing of Archbishop Sok. He said, If there is fraternal correction, let us also celebrate fraternal appreciation. Parang ang hirap-hirap sabihin ng maganda sa tao, masyadong malakas tayo sa pagkakamali ng kapwa. Ang totoong umiibig, nakikita sa kapwa ang maganda. Binibigyang halaga ang kagalingan ng kanyang kapatid at itinutuwid ang pagkakamali ng may pag-ibig. Si Jesus, tinuturo niya sa atin kung papaano ituwid ang tao. Ang una, kausapin mo ng sarili na ng may pag-ibig. Kapag hindi siya nakinig, magsama ng dalawang kaibigan ng saksi na totoong nagmamahal. At kapag hindi pa rin nakinig, ikonsulta sa sambayanan. At kapag hindi pa rin nakinig anong sinasabi sa Ibanghelyo, ituring ang taong ito bilang isang hentil. Ano ang ibig sabihin nito? Hindi ito pagtatatwa. Hindi ito pagtataboy. Hindi ito pagsasaisantabi. How did Jesus treat the Gentile? He did not reject them. He did not abandon them. For Jesus telling us, treat the person as a Gentile, that is similar way of saying, love the person more. Alam ni Jesus na ang bawat isa sa atin nagkakamali. Alam niya na ang bawat isa sa atin nadada pa. Alam niya, alam na alam ko na ako di na'y nadapa. Nagkamali, nawala. Subalit pag-ibig niya'y hindi huminto, hindi naglaho. Alam ng Diyos ang ating mga kasalanan. Alam niya ang ating mga kahihiyan. Dinig na dinig niya kung papaano tayo nagkakasakitan. Kung papaano tayo naglalaban-laban. Kung papaano nagiging napakatigas ng ating ulo at kalooban. Kaya hindi siya mapakali. Hindi mapahinto ang kanyang pagpapaalala. Wala tayo dito para mag-away. Wala tayo dito para itatwa ang isa't isa. Oo, nagkakamali tayo. Pero buuin natin ang nasira ng ating pagkakamali ng totoong pag-ibig, pagpapatawad, at kapayapaan. Kundi ka man makikinig sa akin, hindi ako hihintong ikaw ay aking mahalin. At ang pag-ibig na ito ay hindi nagbubunga ng kabiguan bagkos lumilikha ng pag-asa na anuman ang nasira Ito'y mabubuong muli dahil sa pag-ibig, pagpapatawad at mapagmahal 
na pagtutuwid. Amen. Together we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. God our Father is generous and patient with us despite our sins and failings. He wants us to be the same to our brethren in sin and error. With confidence we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Give the Pope, bishops, priests, and deacons a heart that reaches out to sinners so that they may be effective ministers of reconciliation. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May all of us gathered here in the Eucharist see the wisdom in the words of St. Paul today. Love does no evil to the neighbor, hence love is the fulfillment of the law. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Move judges, soldiers, and policemen and those working in rehabilitation centers to temper justice with love and to always respect the inviolable rights of persons. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May sinners and those who stray from the right path come to their senses and ask pardon from the Lord and be reconciled with the Christian community. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the sick, the elderly, and the homebound see God's comfort and the consolation and the compassion of those who care for them. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intention of Freddy and Noemi Aguilar and family, Red and Portia Cruz and family, Regis Romero II and family, Nori and Anselm Balatbat, Marina de Guzman, Ricky and Maridu Rosario, Stephen and Lani David, Airi Icaranum, Abel and Josdada Pangilinan, and family, Hill and Annie Haveliana and family, Edward Lee and family, Dean Pax Lapid and family, Samuel Martires, the Desource Company, the Eventic Manila. We also pray for all the souls in purgatory, especially Anselmo Balatbat, Vio and Marina Shaw, Alan Tenko, Nora Lozano, Gregoria Gumabon, Crisanta Malonso, Catalina Magat, Father Larry Sarmiento, Father Joel Victorino, Father Rico Hilario, Monsignor Rustico Cuevas, Archbishop Oscar Cruz, Father Larry Faraon, Father Sherwin Bulaon, Father Pax Lansang, 
All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. sisters and brothers that our sacrifice may be made acceptable to God the all loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being, and while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raise up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal Mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Francisco, our Bishop, Noli, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ Sa pamamagita ni Kristo, kasama niya at sa Kanya, ang lahat ng parangal at papuri ay sa iyo Diyos amang makapangyarihan kasama ng Espiritu Santo. Magpasawalang hanggan At the Saviour's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say,
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the peace of Jesus. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are going to partake in his sacred broken body. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, 
through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. We pray the rosary every day for the peace in our country and the whole world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May all loving God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God loves you. Mama Mary loves you. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Shadows.